Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, and I'm standing out here in front of the now infamous Natural Products Expo, and this was supposed to happen this weekend, and it's the biggest Natural Products Expo in maybe the world, definitely in the United States. I've been coming out here since 2004. I'm in California, so I've got my Prop 65 t-shirt on, that uh, because California has left our country and decided, you know, we're just going to attack the rest of the United States uh, with our lawsuits and say that your products need to meet our standards and our standards are better than your standards. So California, quite a place. Um, the only reason I ever come out to California anymore is this expo. And then they canceled it. They canceled this expo um, on 4 o'clock the day before, 4, 4 p.m., the day before it was supposed to start. Kind of incredible you would do that to, oh, I don't know, 90,000 people. There were 90,000 attendees going to come through. 3,500 booths, and you gotta wonder how stupid can somebody be to, to wait to the last minute like this and, and cancel a, a, such a major expo. So there's all sorts of rumors going on. Why did this happen? Are they trying to destroy the economy? Are they trying to hurt the presidential election? Are they trying to hurt Democrats or Republicans or what is going on? Well, one theory is that maybe they're just trying to hit, hurt all the small companies. I mean, you spent tens of thousands of dollars to get all your stuff, your startup and everything, and then what happens at the last second, they they cancel on you. Now they, they postponed it technically, so it's not a cancellation, so they don't have to give anyone's money back. So a lot of people are saying, geez, was this all the big corporations trying to get rid of the small corporations in, in something like this? Is this what going, was going on? And so we have all the speculation. And all uh, this, this organization, New Hope, uh, which is run by a corporation, a giant corporation called Informa. Okay, Informa took over this all the the uh, the expos for the supp for supplements, uh, the supply side expo, the natural products expo. They own it all, and the prices have just gone through the roof. I used to pay five thousand dollars for a booth. Now it's seven thousand one hundred. I think next year I'm paying seven thousand four hundred dollars for a booth at supply side, up from five thousand just ready five years ago. So it's gone up well, almost fifty percent in five years. So this, this company is running this thing in this New Hope. Uh, they are very exclusive and they I really think they're just catering to the big companies here. That's what I think is what's really going on. But who knows? Who knows? Are we ever really going to find out what happened? Um, I mean, I would guess, um, just put it in the ballpark of 80 to 100 million dollars that we're going to be lost here just for this weekend. And, and, you know, just in the, the revenue, forget about, um, you know, the natural products business is a trillion dollar industry at this point. But um, for something like this, in one weekend, a hundred million dollars lost just right out of the gate. And they said they postponed it. And then they're going to tell us in April when the new date is. Like, people will just come back here. I mean, I flew all the way out here for nothing. And I, I have to tell you something, I really hope, I really hope this hurts this expo. Because... They, they kind of been running roughshod over people for many, many years. And, you know, if you kind of this attitude, you don't like it here, don't, don't show. This is your big opportunity. You're so lucky to be spending your money with this. And all these companies, I mean, they, they, they depend on something like, like doing this thing and getting out there and everything. And then they, they, that's where all their money goes, all their advertising and, and their budget and everything. And then they just fail. And that's a lot of people are saying, well, this is what they did now. They just, these big corporations, they can afford to take this loss, but the little ones can't. So maybe that's what's happening, but I would say more along the lines of, um, you know, I hope it hurts this, this, this expo a lot. Uh, there were supposed to be, a, there was 86,000 people last year, 90,000 this year. And I got to tell you, I hope next year is 20,000 come. I really do. Because it's about time we broke up this cartel and started shifting away from Anaheim, which is a terrible place to have an expo. I mean, it's a good place to have an expo, but there's only a few restaurants in the area. It's not the nicest city. And I really, uh, I really don't care for California at all anymore. I, 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 I can't wait to get in here and, and get out. I've been coming here since the 1960s. It used to be a wonderful place. It's not anymore. And now I'm stuck here for a whole week because, you know, you can't cancel airline tickets. I mean, I found out about this at 11 o'clock um, on the day before we were leaving. So I thought, what am I going to throw away $1,100 in air tickets and lose a couple days reservation at my hotel and cancel the rest or something? No, nah, we'll just come out here and have a little vacation and uh, at least we're going to do that. But I hope it hurts it. 
and I hope this place, I hope this expo shifts locations to other other venues, and so we don't have such a such control over the natural products industry as we have now. Um, they're the gatekeepers. They almost uh, are going to let you know whether you can you can e exhibit here and whether you're going to be a success and all this kind of stuff. And I'll just tell you that we need more of these kind of expos, but it's just too concentrated here. 90,000 people in a, in a weekend. I mean, when I first started coming here, it was 2004, much smaller show. I can't remember how many people were here. Um, I think it was around 20,000, maybe less than that. Now they have you parking over at Angel Stadium and they truck you, they bus you in. You can't get a hotel around here. You know, hotels... Now there's nobody here. You gotta look around. I mean, it's really pretty amazing to see this place. This place should be jammed. It should be jammed with people, and it should be a big uh, band going on, and they should be doing yoga, and there should be events, and there should be booze, and there should be excitement. And instead, these people. And of course, well, they canceled over this this coronavirus. I mean, that that's that's the excuse. You you didn't see this coming. You waited till the last second. You waited till the absolute last moment right before the show to say no you know i talked to the people here literally this uh, over over at the hilton here they had a huge meeting everything was great two o'clock and same and i'm staying over at the sheridan two they said told me the same thing we had a big meeting two o'clock everything's good and then four o'clock everything shut down that's it no nope, we're not going to do it so from between two and four something big happened Somebody would somebody wake up in, in corporate headquarters and go, oh my gosh, people, we're going to spread this virus and we, we could be uh, liable. We could be liable. Uh, you, you never thought of this before. This virus has been around for months now, and all of a sudden you decided to, to destroy this, this uh, the, you know, these many people's lives. You know, it's going to cost me a few thousand here for the whole week. I, I'm going to be okay. I really feel sorry for these small little startup companies. Most of these kids are in their 20s. They got nothing, and they spend a fortune to come out in this place trying to make it, and then something like this happens. It, this whole natural product started out as an organic thing, and it's been taken over by these giant corporations, Unify and k here, the distributors, and I mean, all these big names, they're buying up everything. And by the way, when these, when these, when these co corporations buy the small, companies that you had a really high quality product that product goes to crap every time because you, to mass produce something and put it out in the market in such high quantity qual, uh, quantities you just can't keep the quality up so it all goes to trip you know kashi that company they bought all this stuff and everything they, they, they make crap it's all it's all garbage you know they're just big money they're big corporations and that's what runs so much of this thing and uh so that there's this amalgamation amalgamation and this this you know uh, buying of all these small companies and all the things that have gone on over the last now 20 years have really brought us to the point where we now honestly something like this can happen and and these big corporations they just absorb it and go on and then we don't see the great innovation in, in new products um, because people get, lose all their money with this sort of thing so um, they've got one out on the East Coast um, in Baltimore that's one always about half the size of this one. I go out there every year. Quite frankly, Baltimore is an awful city. Uh, they're moving it to Philadelphia this year. We'll see how it does there. Uh, they tried moving that one before to Boston. That was a disaster. That was an absolute, uh, it almost destroyed the show. Uh, Boston, not a good place to have an expo, I'll tell you that. But uh, anyway, I hope this hurts it a lot. I hope it hurts this company, and I hope it breaks up the cartel. And I hope some we, we see places, other other. Uh, venue starting Austin, Texas would be a great place to have a natural products expo like this because that's really the mecca now, um, and it's and not too uh, not not too bad to try to get there. Um, but that that's just one example. But anyway, I I hope we see more of this kind of thing. But if if you really understood this business and you really understood this industry, you would understand that there's a lot more going on here with this thing being shut down like this than maybe uh, just the virus and wanting to protect people. Um, and by the way, you know, again, I, I, they're gonna they're gonna tell us they're gonna make an announcement in April when they're gonna when the new date is. I mean, did they think everyone's just gonna come back? I mean, there's got to be. Uh, I mean, there's a parking lot in the back. Is it? You know. I mean, there must be thousands and thousands of crates back there that never got loaded. They must have been building some of the booths inside there. 
I wonder who's going to pay for all this and what the liability is and all that kind of stuff. But um, I think a lot of it was designed to hurt the little guy. Why not? They got the money to do it. Anyway, Dr. Bob from California, Prop 65, trying to protect myself here from the California lawyers that are always coming after for somebody. I didn't know if I was going to get an Uber here because they destroyed Uber with their gig economy. They destroyed the gig economy. Everybody's an employee now of Uber. It's just unbelievable. So, uh, Dr. Bob, it was a totally different thing when I came here in 2004. <laughs> totally different. I loved it. And now it's just money and corporate stuff. Wow. Anyway. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.